last week I got the 35s mounted on the truck and this video is to kind of show you the clearancing needed to be done and what I did to make these 35s fit and why these 35s fit so good as opposed to other 35s. So stick around and uh, I will tell you all about it. All right, Tacoma Dad back with another update on the truck. So today we're going to talk about these tires. I had a lot of questions about them and uh, people were really curious to see if they'd fit on their truck. So start this off by saying thanks for coming back to the channel. Appreciate you guys. I uh, try to get back to everybody. And if you guys have any questions about this, obviously leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like it. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the details about these tires. And then also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so uh, you can see some future things that we do to this truck. But anyways, so last week I got these Kenda tires mounted on the truck. They are a 35, 10, 50, 17 skinny pizza cutter 35 but they fit rather nicely on these tacomas so there's really no clearance issues in the rear you can see there's a lot of room up in there but uh the front is where it kind of gets a little bit tricky so i don't think on a stock truck they're gonna fit obviously but i have bill steen 6112s on the front and they're almost at full notch top notch as you most people call it so roughly two and a half three inches of lift and then i did do the cmc and then i've also done the pinch weld right here and trim the fender down this part so that is probably a most likely has to be done because when you turn the tire right here it's about right here and it's pretty close to that it doesn't rub on mine but you never know and then uh other than having a lift and a little bit of trimming these tires fit pretty nicely i know they uh a lot of people are like, oh, they're skinny, they're pizza cutters, but they probably look skinnier in the video. In person, they're not too bad. They really don't look bad on the truck, and they uh, seem to fill the wheel wells out nicely. This is kind of where I want the truck to sit. Maybe another inch or two higher, but that's in the future. But it's nice to not have this giant monster truck off-road that wants to be top-heavy and everything else. So, yeah, I... 250 miles on these tires. I know it's not a lot, but they are definitely one of my favorite tires I've put on a vehicle. So that's pretty nice. I have no complaints with them thus far. They're actually pretty quiet on the road. And like I said, they tuck nicely inside of those wheel wells. So that's another big plus of these tires. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here and talk about that. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, Put them down below and then uh, we'll go through those and I can help you out if you guys have any questions or concerns about them or maybe want to pick up a set for yourself. Again, these are Kenda Cleaver Clever RTs, however you want to pronounce them. 35, 10, 50, 17. And for the most part, they'll fit on your truck a lot easier than most 35s because most 35s are 1250 and that's where it starts rubbing into pretty much everything because I've seen a lot of people have to trim their fenders, mainly in the front when you're turning. They like to rub. These fenders are not trimmed, exception of the front bumper, which I did that before 35s, and then the CMC and the pinch wheel. That's the only things I've done to trim on this truck. So overall, pretty happy with it. Thanks guys for watching. Until next time.